There's one main change that people make during Medicare's annual review period that they end up regretting in the long run. So in this video, let's go through what that mistake is so that you can avoid that regret as well. You've worked hard for Medicare. Let's now get the most out of it. I'm Emily with the Medicare Coach, the leading independent Medicare advocate, helping our clients easily navigate Medicare rules and insurance company confusion. So I'm not an insurance agent, I'm not a broker, so you'll hear me say very different things in my videos. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the number one thing that I see people do during Medicare's review period that they regret later on. Now this period lasts from October 15th through December 7th. And during this period of time, there's certain changes that you can make on your plans, specifically around changing or joining a Medicare Part D drug plan or changing or joining a Medicare Advantage plan, okay? So number one, I do recommend that you review your plans during this period of time. It's so important to review your plans as it can save you a lot of money. But let's talk about the one change that people make that they can have massive regrets about later, okay? And it's all about changing Medicare programs when you don't realize what's actually happening. I got a call the other day from a gentleman, Frank, and Frank was one of our clients, and we helped him through joining Medicare a few years ago. And he gave me a call and he said, you know, Emily, I feel like I'm better off on XYZ Advantage plan. And I said, okay, Frank, walk me through. Why do you think that's the case? And he's like, well, the ad says there's zero premiums and it looks like it's gonna cost, my, my medications will cost less. It looks like overall this other Advantage plan will be a lot cheaper for me. And I said, okay, I'm glad you brought it up. Yes, there's commercials on this. Let's talk about what's actually happening. So Frank and I went through the plan that he was currently on versus the plan that he thought he wanted based on the commercials that he was seeing. And after we looked through the comparison of the doctors that he could see, the costs for medications and premiums and co-pays and out-of-pockets and all of those things, he confirmed, he realized that the current plan that he was in was truly the best plan for him, despite what the commercial was saying. So my point to you is this, the biggest regret that I see people make during this period of time is moving from there, if they're, if they're currently in traditional Medicare with a Medicare supplement and Part D plan, and they move to Medicare Advantage thinking that it's going to be cheaper, it's usually a mistake. Not always, but most of the time people make that decision to switch from one side to the other based on commercials and not actually based on facts. So please be very thoughtful during this period of time if you or a loved one are considering moving from here, right, from traditional Medicare over to Medicare Advantage. And this is so important because of how Medicare's rules work, okay? Had Frank made this change on his own from his current plan to Medicare Advantage, he wouldn't be able to go back. And specifically, he wouldn't be able to go back and get a Medigap plan. And Medigap plans are really important because they cover a lot of the costs that Medicare does not cover on its own, okay? And in most states, there are rules that allows insurance companies, when you apply for a new Medigap plan, whether it's a new company or a new letter or a new plan of any type, um, they can ask you for your health history. And if they don't like what you see, they're not going to accept you. Now, they have to keep Frank. If Frank keeps paying his premiums, they can't kick him out. But if Frank were to have left and gone to Advantage and then came back, they wouldn't have to accept him again. So again, the biggest mistakes that I see people make is people making these changes from one side to the other, not really realizing, one, what the, what's actually best for them, not realizing the cost and the doctors and things like that. And number two, not realizing that while it's easy to go from, from original Medicare to Advantage, it's really hard to go the opposite way. And again, I will get calls, I can guarantee you, every January and February of people who will call me and say, I made a mistake, can you fix it? I made a mistake, I, j I left my Medigap plan and I joined Medicare Advantage, can you fix it? And my answer in most situations is, it's too late to fix it. So again, please do not make that mistake. Yes, I want you to be reviewing your Part D drug plans and your Advantage plans during this period to save yourself money, but I want you to be very thoughtful when you are switching completely different programs because it can be irreversible, the changes that you make right now. 
All right. Now in the comment section below, please let me know what your questions are. If you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up or even a thumbs down. Let me know. Um, again, I'm also include some extra resources down below to help you navigate Medicare easily. All right. Again, I'm Emily with the Medicare Coach here to help you easily navigate Medicare to protect your healthcare rights and your savings. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to learn more of these insider tips to make your life easy. Thanks so much.